Hi guys, so I am here today and I'm just going to take you guys with me today because I am planning to go to the Nottingham Book Meetup. This is the second one and it's being organised by Charlotte who I will link down below and I'm super excited. I don't really know who's going to be there other than Charlotte but I'm definitely intrigued and excited to go and meet everyone. So I'm just going to take you guys along for the ride with me and we'll see what happens. Hopefully I won't buy too many books but I never really know what I'm going to find so I'm prepared. I'm taking this bag with me so that if I do decide to buy any books I have a bag. Wish me luck and off we go! enjoyed it and I picked up nine books whilst I was on this book buying extravaganza with the two other booktubers so that was a lot of fun. I always look forward to meetups. You really get to know someone a lot more and a lot more personally than you do over the internet so it's always good fun. Plus we went around a lot of charity shops and I got a lot of secondhand really awesome books and I also got a few brand new books from Waterstones because I finished my stamp card which meant that I got £10 off so all was good and I'm going to show you guys what I got. So the first book that I picked up and probably the best bargain out of all of them, this was the cheapest, was book number three in The Live Ship Traders which is by Robin Hobb. I haven't read The Live Ship Traders yet but I have just finished her Farsia trilogy and I plan on starting this trilogy in May so I will definitely be getting to this at some point. As you can see it's like pristine condition, it's hardback, it's got the dust jacket and this cost me a pound. One pound and that is it. So that was pretty good and I couldn't resist. Even though it's a monster book it's really really heavy. It's also in the same edition as my mass market paperbacks which I have. So even though this is a lot bigger it's still the same edition and I like these editions so I had to get it then and there and I will definitely be picking this up sometime this year I hope provided that I like the first one, but I think I will. It's got a dragon on the front, that's always a good sign in my book. Dragons and it's got a ship, and I like the idea of sailing through dragons. Well actually I don't like that idea, it would be terrible. 
but interesting as a premise for a book. I've no idea what this is about, I don't really want to read the back. I know that the series itself is about a different community still set in the same world as the Farsia, but it's different people a lot further away. And they have these ships which basically come to life over time. I think it's like the more deaths or the more soul that someone has, the soul gradually goes into the ship and that ship becomes alive, so that's why it's called the live ship traders. But I really don't know any more than that and I'm definitely highly intrigued about this series because it sounds really interesting and I hope I will really enjoy it. I do love Robin Hobb's writing style so I'm sure it will be enjoyable and yeah this is the first one I got. Moving on I then spotted a great deal because this book I was planning to get anyway and that is Chris Wooding's The Ace of Skulls which is the fourth book in the Ketty J series or quartet. I am reading this series at the moment, I've just finished up book number two, I plan on reading book three next month and I will definitely be getting to this the month after. I'm loving this series, the first two books I've given five out of five stars to, they're just so much fun and I really really love them so I would highly recommend this series if you've not read it yet definitely go ahead and pick it up because it's so so much fun. It's about a crew of kind of like pirates they're not technically pirates but they do the same sort of thing and they go around on various adventures in airships so it is a bit of a steampunkish world which is really cool but realistically it's the characters in this story that make it so much fun. I absolutely adore the characters that Chris Wooding has created and the way that he manipulates them and develops them and is just excellent at writing. Really truly this series is wonderful and I really hope that this one will be just as wonderful as the ones before. Then I got two books from the same charity shop and these ones are part of a series that I have started. This series is quite a confusing one, it is the Edge series. So we have The Last of the Sky Pirates, which I think is the first one in one of the trilogies, in the trilogy of trilogies. Basically the Edge series was published out of chronological order and there are three different trilogies within it. So I believe that these two are part of the same series and there is another one called Vox in the middle. So I think that this is the first one and this is the third of a trilogy, but I don't have the middle one yet. I really had to pick these up when I saw them because not only are they really fun stories from what I read of the first one, which was The Curse of the Gloom Glozer, I just really enjoyed them and I definitely think I'm going to enjoy these. They are also illustrated by Chris Riddell. He is a brilliant, brilliant illustrator and I really, really love what he can do and I think he's excellent so I love his style and I'll definitely be looking forward to discovering all of the illustrations and stuff within these. So I have. The Last of the Sky Pirates and Free Glader, and they are by Paul Stewart and Chris Riddell. Then I spotted a couple of books that I wanted to pick up whilst I was wandering around. The first of these being a Sarah Waters book. I don't tend to read a lot of fiction that isn't heavily fantasy based. I'm not sure if this has fantasy elements or not, but I know that Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings loves these books, loves Sarah Waters in general, and I already have Fingersmith but it's at home so I there's no chance of me getting to that anytime soon, but I thought I would pick this one up. It's called The Little Stranger. I don't know an awful lot about it. I really have no idea if it's got fantastical elements or anything like that. It's 500-ish pages. I'm just going to sort of dive into it blind and see if I like it. I don't know when I'll be getting to this, but it's definitely something I want to try out at some point and I'm happy to have this and this edition because I really like these editions as well. I also picked up Cold Magic which is by Kate Elliott. This is the first one in her Spirit Walker series and I've heard a lot of good things about Kate Elliott in general. I also have the first one in her other series and I'm definitely intrigued about this. I believe it's got dragons in it so that is always a plus for me. I would really like some recommendations of books that have awesome dragons. I feel like a lot of fantasy books they don't do justice to a dragon. A dragon to me should be something really really terrifying and exciting and intelligent and a lot of books don't do that so if you've got any really awesome dragon book suggestions or books that just feature dragons they don't have to be exclusively about them definitely leave them down below for me because I'm really really looking for awesome dragon books but this one has dragons in it it says the wild hunt is stirring and the dragons are waking from their long sleep don't really know anything more than that but I'm definitely excited to dive into some of Kate Elliott's work because I've not read any yet and I'm sure I will enjoy it and hopefully I'll love it. And finally I went to Waterstones and there I picked up three books and these ones I paid full price for but I got £10 off for finishing my stamp card. 
So, the first of those being one that I've been looking out to get for a long, long time and I just keep forgetting or keep not having the money or whatever. And that is the second one in the Lockwood & Co series, which is by Jonathan Stroud. I really, really loved the first book. I got sent it as an ARC and like a Goodreads giveaway a long time ago, maybe just when I started booktubing, so quite a while. And then the second book came out, which is called The Whispering Skull, and I hadn't been able to pick this up yet. I believe, if I remember correctly, that it's about a detective and a second in command who go around hunting for ghosts and supernatural things and deal with all that sort of stuff. It seems quite similar to like Sherlock Holmes, but I really, really enjoyed the writing style that Jonathan Stroud has when I read the first book, and I'm sure it will continue into this one. Also, the covers are really creepy and cool, so I'm generally really looking forward to this, and I'm not sure when I'll get to it again, but I definitely will be picking this one up fairly soon if I can get to it because it's not too long and it's a kid's book so it shouldn't take too long to get through. And then finally I did something a little bit different. I don't usually buy science fiction books. I really want to start trying out science fiction a little bit more. I don't really, I've never really delved into adult science fiction. I've read a few YA sci-fis which are not quite the same and I definitely want to check out some of the more popular adult science fiction. So I picked up two books in Waterstones and decided that these will be my starting points. So the first one that I picked up is The Mechanical, which is by Ian Tregellis. And I don't know a lot about Ian Tregellis, but I have heard his name mentioned before in sort of SF, SFF circles. So I'm definitely intrigued about it. The pages of this book are red. I absolutely love when they make the edges of pages a certain colour. I think it really is an attractive thing about the book and it makes it so much more interesting. And I don't know an awful lot about this. I think it's kind of speculative, dystopian sci-fi, that sort of thing. My name is Jax. That's the name granted to me by my human masters. I am a slave, but I shall be free. Set in a world that might have been of mechanical men and alchemical dreams, the new novel from Ian Tregellis confirms his place as one of the most original new voices in speculative fiction. And I believe that this is a new release as well, so that's really, really exciting. I'm really interested to get into this. I love the cover. I think it's so bold and captivating and just the design works really, really well. It's the first one in the Alchemy Wars series. Just really, really interested. On the front also, George R. R. Martin has put a major new talent, which I think is pretty high praise. So I'm certainly interested in this. It's one that I will definitely be trying to fit into my schedule fairly soon. And yeah, definitely intrigued as to whether I will like this or not, but it sounds exciting. And so the final book that I picked up is again a science fiction book, and that is Leviathan Wakes, which is by James S.A. Corey. Again, I don't know an awful lot about this, but I have heard his name floating around, and I know Leviathan Wakes is a good place in lots of opinion to start in SF. So I'm certainly interested. On the back it says, Welcome to the future. Humanity has colonised the solar system. Mars, the moon, the asteroid belt and beyond, but the stars are still out of our reach. Jim Holden is an officer on an ice miner making the runs from the rings of Saturn to the mining stations of the belt. When he and his crew stumble upon a derelict ship, the Scapoli, they find themselves in possession of a secret they never wanted, a secret that someone is willing to kill for and kill on a scale unfathomable to Jim and his crew. War is brewing in the system unless Jim can find out who left the ship and why. Sounds pretty interesting. I don't read a lot of sci-fi, but I definitely hope that this will kind of get me into sci-fi a bit more and make me really interested in the genre and picking up more of it. Hopefully I will really enjoy this book and the one before and I will dive straight in headlong into science fiction. I haven't really dived into it in the past, so if you guys have any other starting points for science fiction that you would highly recommend, definitely leave them in the comments below for me because it's something I really want to try more of and I've not read a lot or even a tiny bit of. So definitely leave me your comments and suggestions. I would love to hear them. And I will hopefully be reading some of these books very, very soon. As always, leave me your thoughts if you've read any of the books I mentioned and what you thought of them. And if you really want me to read any of them very soon, then let me know that as well. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all very soon in another video. Bye! Me and you gonna have a little chat about the